Hey guys, we kind of had a uh, situation where we're in a state of emergency. It was a call. Luckily, it was found early. It was an installer that was compromised. Um, it was installing back doors. It was a Trojan. And if you apparently went to the wiki page of Chia for the install instructions, there was a link there that redirected to a third party that was not officially a Chia link and was downloading the installer. Now, here's a clip of the actual footage that we have let's let me bring it up uh, the user account bitmex, bitmex bot uh, edited the install instructions page on the wiki uh, which added a direct link to a third party host not associated with Chia project uh, this is an attack vector that uh, required us to have some trust in the community uh, we we will be changing our pattern around uh, releasing install instructions uh, and the wiki in the future uh, to avoid this sort of attack uh, being possible. Uh, so the malicious file uh, is the RM, rvmis.com vendor uh, URL that you've seen. Uh, that's actually been removed now by the host. Uh, at about 9.30 UTC, reports began to come into the tech support channel on Keybase. At about 10, a. At about 10 zero zero UTC, uh, Chia operations person, Chia operations personnel uh, began investigating the malicious edits uh, and began corrective actions uh, by 10:352. So just under four minutes later, Mario and I had reverted the malicious change uh, and locked the wiki uh, to prevent uh, you know, further malicious installs and downloads. So the file was a RAR file. It was not the typical uh, EXE, and the uh, so it was more towards geared towards Windows. So, and it, it had two files in that directory that was obviously different from what the normal Chia installer would look like. But to a new person installing Chia for the first time, you would not have known that. So I am linking this video in the subject in the description below so you guys can check it out in the full detail. It is about 14 minutes long, a little shy of 14 minutes. But I wanted to come out here and give you guys an update that if you apparently did go to the wiki page and installed and and clicked on the link from the installer of that wiki page, it is gonna possibly bring you to a third party and you possibly could have been affected by downloading and installing this particular Chia fake installer. So what they're recommending is you blow away your entire OS, uh, copy, you know, create a new wallet, create a new key. If you apparently have any tokens, uh, Chia coins in there, transfer them as soon as you can. Um, but you know, hopefully that 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 situation shouldn't have come about. There is obviously people on Chia's end that are monitoring and keeping tabs on this stuff. So luckily, they found it really early. It wasn't lingering for days or you know a week or so. So it, you know the, it didn't hit the masses yet. And most of us who are watching this or know about Chia already have the installer there but apparently the downside to all that is that installers get released every so often so i'm not too sure and i don't think it was mentioned i'm gonna i'm gonna pretty much say that it's the most latest one which is the 1115 or the 1114 uh since 1115 was only a recommended and not mandatory so either way uh, you know, you could check out the full video here. My my goal was to just come on here and bring awareness because there is possibility. In my last video, I also said, you know, Harvester security is just security in general now because now everyone is focused on this and there's a high potential of higher and more threats going out into the internet and looking for these Chia farms, harvesters and plotting machines. Uh, and, you know, they know exactly what port to search for. So there are a lot of you know components involved in securing yourself and not just the not just your farmer or your harvester within your network. Now we have to make sure that when we're downloading the latest uh, version of the installer that we're getting it directly from the Chia website, Chia.net, and hopefully you know that doesn't get compromised and we're downloading a potential threat. So we have to be very careful of that. I know, I mean for myself, I, I'm running a Windows 10 machine that is just straight off the internet i'm booting off a usb it's not even registered i you know it has the built-in firewalls um you know system defender and all that other stuff that's in there to protect you 
but sometimes human error is the one of the most biggest uh, threat to the computer because as soon as you click and allow something to happen, would whether the consent you know from you, it's it's the computer is just gonna take whatever you say over everything else, no matter what's there. Sometimes they'll try to say, hey, you know, you gotta make sure that this is what you really want to do, and then you say, okay, yes, that you know, that's the point of the tipping point where anything can happen, right? So I want to just bring awareness to you guys. I do want to give a quick update. It wasn't my normal. I know I, I rushed back and I was like, oh my goodness, this is this is huge. I mean, the fact that, you know, they jumped on and they had like this a little kind of briefing with these uh, Gene Hoffman's uh, YouTube page and Justin, you know, it's really critical that we have to make sure that we're aware that, you know, we don't get compromised because... Let's just say you work all these hours and you have all these plots and all of a sudden you get like two chias and then boom, it's gone because someone was able to get in there with a back door. Not a good feeling. I can get even without any chia right now if I even remotely know that anyone was on my machine trying to look for that exact moment when I do get something and it's gone. Whew, I, you know, that that's really a, a big downer. We have to make sure we're secure. Chia can't do all that for you. You have to do it yourself. You have to make sure. These are unlike uh, ASIC miners. They're unlike GPU miners where, you know, what's compromising or what's taking it. We're, uh, we're running on Windows operating systems and we're running on Linux and Apple. There is a bigger compromise there because we're running full operating systems. Uh, so there is a threat there. You have to make sure your password is even you, you lo logging in locally to your machines, you, that password that you have set, you know, whether you're on a domain or off the domain or a single standalone machine, you have to make sure those passwords are strong because anytime you're, I know for a fact that all of you guys who have Chia installed are the admins of, you know, that count is an admin. And you, you are not logging off and using it as a standard user to launch Chia again. You are a full administrator and that password gets compromised and you make it ABC123, it's done. You know, they're going to get in, they're going to take whatever it is that you have and, and they're going to go through, they're going to ransack the whole system as you're getting robbed physically without you even knowing. So you have to really be careful of that. Make sure you have a strong password. That's one way of protecting yourself. Make sure your firewall is up to date. Everything, everything you have. I know some of you guys might have routers and, and firewalls that are a little dated and you're just using whatever you have. You have to make sure that they can't be easily compromised from the outside world, which is really, really critical. I often, I often, as soon as my, I feel like my, my equipment is dated, especially hardware wise in regards to routers and firewalls, you know, once they're un, not, no longer supported or they, they can't update it anymore, you, you have to really just, you know, invest and put out that money to upgrade that, that system. You have to upgrade the equipment. That's the only way you can really protect yourself. It's sort of like, you know, Windows 7 and Windows XP, all those are dated already. You, don't, you can't really rely on those for security measures. Um, so even, but even with the latest and greatest, it, it, it's not always foolproof. It's not always bulletproof, but there are bigger and better measures now because people are actually focused on securing that. They, you know, Microsoft is not going to have a team of guys who are saying, Hey, we should still have a, a team to secure Windows XP and Windows 7. That's not going to happen. All right. Maybe Windows 7, but I had, it's, it's fading out more and more so now. Okay. Uh, just a quick update, I'm at 458 plots and a few other, I have uh, 25 on one of the harvesters and another 10 on the second harvester. So I, I have a good amount, but I'm still at zero coins. So I'm waiting for that pool just like everyone else. I still have some hard drive space. I'm allocating that. I'm not even putting any more plots onto it. I'm just, far, I'm just farming whatever I have existing. So once that's ready to go. So again, I want to thank you guys for being here. Uh, I hope I brought some awareness and I'm going to leave the link to the description. Uh, I'm going to leave in the description for this particular video so you guys can see that there it, there was a threat and it was remediated. But if you have to make sure that if you downloaded it from the wiki page that you have to get rid of it. All right. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.